Good morning, Marist. Today is Friday, May 1st. My name is Kyle Peoples. And I'm Emily Murdy. Today we pray for the students and staff of Seminary de Pérez Maristes in Quebec, Canada. Delivering our prayer this morning is Tim Kiley. It is important for us as Christians every so often and especially in difficult times to reflect upon God's creation and to take time to look into ourselves so that we can see its beauty in each other. God of creation, may you bless the mountains and rocks, rivers and valleys, animals and plants which daily sing your praises and remind us of your gracious gift of creation. God of grace, may you forgive us our devotion to greed, destruction, and selfishness, so we might truly be freed to see the other as ourselves and hold the care of creation in our hearts. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thanks, Tim. Monday marks the first week of the Maris Petting Zoo. While the original plan called for a corral of wayward 7th graders who got lost on their way to Miss Stife's class, the Environmental Science Club decided that sheep might be a better choice. That's right. They'll be behind the softball fields from May 5th until the 8th, and everyone is invited to go and visit them while they're here. They're great conversationalists. Mrs. Luke only asks that you respect both them and the electric fence that surrounds them. Shocking stuff. We now go to Jack Lehner with this week's Jacked Fact. Did you know that Marist is going to have sheep? Did you know that sheep have a field of vision of 300 degrees, allowing them to see behind them without even turning their head? <laughs> Did you know that sheep have a four-chambered stomach that allows them to eat a bunch of different herbs? Back to you in the studio. Excuse the technical difficulties, everyone. The cameras just could not handle our awesomeness up here. <laughs> and unfortunately, the next video wasn't able to be played last week due to the unforeseen technical difficulties. But we've got it figured out now. So let's go to see how the trip went. practicing my speech for three months and reciting it to the judges and getting third place. It's really competitive and really cool. Now, speaking of trips, didn't NBC go to D.C. a few weeks ago? That's right. Our very own executive board made the trip to the land of politics and journalism, and in true NBC fashion made a short recap video covering the experience. Let's check out how their weekend went. When you think of NBC, you probably think of Friday morning, sitting in a homeroom, watching the morning broadcast. That's not all we do. One little known aspect of NBC is the chance that we get to meet notable parents and alumni in the field. For example, our supervisor over at the NFHS network, Allison Burke, who graduated in 2006, came in to talk to us this term. Then there's Heather Callum, class of 2001, who's the host of Hot Topics on WSB. She talked to our class last year and even gave us a private tour of WSB. Speaking of WSB, their senior anchor, Javita Moore, has a daughter here at Marist. We haven't been able to reach her yet. Speaking of local news, Steven Spencer's dad, Russ Spencer, is over at Fox 5. He came and talked to us first term. 
And who could forget Ernie Johnson from the class of 1974, who hosts Inside the NBA on TNT. He came to talk to us back in February. You might have been there. A little known fact, Tim and Liv Kylie's dad, Tim Kylie Sr., is a senior producer of Inside the NBA with Ernie Johnson. He let us watch the show live last year, and we got to meet Shaq and all the rest of the crew. Our biggest interaction in the day came with the meeting of Brett Baer, class of 1988. Brett is the Fox News chief political anchor and executive editor and anchor of the show's special report with Brett Baer. We met Brett last year at graduation when he was given the Distinguished Alumni Award. He was very generous with his time and let us interview him before it even started. We reached out to him asking to come to see him in DC. During mid-April, our dreams became a reality. We toured CNN, CCTV, NPR, the Capitol, the National Press Club, the Museum, and of course, Fox News. That feature room. That feature really got me in the mood for some politics. Well, lucky for you, Marist has some of its own election results to reveal. For the class of 2019, your president will be Louis Bowen, the chaplain will be Julio Farrakh, the secretary is Annie D'Amaro, and the treasurer is Brendan Farrell. For the class of 2018, your president will be Kyle Neary, the chaplain will be Rachel Lee, the secretary is Bonnie Simino, and the treasurer is Anais Marenko. For the class of 2017, your president will be Jack Davenport, the chaplain will be Ari Herman, the secretary is Jennings Brooks, and the treasurer is Reed Bethune. For the class of 2016, your co-presidents will be Clark Washington and Charlie Daniel. The chaplain will be Connor Wong, the secretary is Andrea Marenko, and the treasurer is Ryan Summers. And what you've all been waiting for, your Stuco co-presidents for the 2015-2016 school year will be Maggie Bonatz and Champ Sin, with Thomas Vance as chaplain, Lily Holmes as secretary, and Abby Wathen as treasurer. I wonder what it's like to be elected a student council officer. Do you know anything about that? No idea. But to all those who are elected, congratulations. Make us proud next year. Well, most of us proud. Back to a few senior things. First of all, make sure to email your prom pictures to Mrs. Likes. Also, if you still haven't done your CPR training, you must attend the final session on Wednesday, May 6th at 8 a.m. We now turn to our super athletic War Eagle of the Week. Let's go to Laura and Carlin to see who it is. This week's War Eagle of the Week can't talk, he loves Royal Marlin, and he's too perfect for a third fact. This week's War Eagle of the Week is Webb George. Now we go to Carlin with Webb. Thanks, Laura. Webb, why are you so perfect? It's just God-given. Where did your accent come from? Licked and shine. Tell us about the Sophie Four. So what position do you play? Um, I'm mostly a pitcher. Every now and then, I'll get put in right field. Who's stepped up most on the team this year? Will Pearson. He's really, uh, he's really come around, giving us some good ABs. Also, John Waring's haircut, it's absolutely fantastic. It's a real motivator. When do the playoffs start? It's tonight at True County. So thanks for being our Warrior Guild of the Week. Thank you for having me, Carlin. Well, we can't train you like we normally do because you're so perfect. So please, train us. According to PV, you want to start like this. We're really open and have the big leg kick and really get out in the front side.
man, what a guy. So humble, so graceful. A gazelle with the heart of a lion. One of my favorite people. He's who I aspire to be. Speaking of athletics, we've got a whole slew of sports news to recap. Boys and girls track are competing in their sectional meets over the weekend, moving them one step closer to state. Baseball is still competing in the playoffs along with girls and guys lacrosse. And our girls soccer team, now ranked, wait for it, number one in the nation. They just moved my script. <laughs> uh, the teleprompter just changed. I'm not Happy sure what we're supposed today to say to now. Happy birthday today to Lauren Hand, Jack Kratzenberg, Matt McBrien, and Noah Perry. Uh... Also, also today, today Lexi Dukes, Will Goldberg, and big man Grant Kelly. On Saturday, birthday blessings today go, or go out to Jack Hearn and Maggie Schaefer. Uh, and on Sunday, happy birthday to Robert Osborne and Meredith Lloyd. And folks, before we cut out, they cut this out of the script, but I just, I just have to get this out here. Yesterday, the Marist team, Marist te boys tennis team, fought an incredibly hard match yesterday against Carrollton in the quarterfinals. Brandon Price, also known as Mr. Clutch, Put out a huge three-set match to silence the hostile crowd and clinch the match for Maris. Congratulations, Brandon. You're the man. Um, well, that's about all we have for today, folks. On behalf of Kyle and I, thank you all for watching. Make it a great day, Marist. <laughs>